that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, Belle Isle, this, this park is a very beautiful location and it hasn't really been used like this before. Um, and it's got everything you could really hope for. It's very, very attractive. And the weather has been fantastic. We've had very good crowds. We've probably had three or 4,000 people yesterday and we're hoping for the same today. Um, and they're very much appreciating, well, obviously just the situation, but also the entertainment and the, the bands. So there's a lot going on. huge amount of ice cream. We basically had almost run out of ice cream within two hours of uh, the event opening. I think it's very good for the town. It's, it's good to see all the, you know, the local community all coming together. the amount of people that would be here yesterday it was, it was busy. Really, really busy. busy. Yeah. And everybody was really best behaviour and everybody was having a good time. Anybody that's not that doesn't live round about here show like the people like how lovely it is in Belial that is a lovely set. I'd say it was really good. There was some really good music on uh, just a really nice just nice a family atmosphere. You know there's lots of nice sort of families around which is a really good thing to come to I think. I think it was a really good thing to bring people into the area and certainly on the way we're from I'm from Prestwick so I'm local but certainly on the way I got the impression there was people from all over had come down to here for the day. Hey, I really enjoyed performing. It was it was fantastic. The the sound was really good, and um, the atmosphere was brilliant. The reception was cool, and um, I've just I've been looking forward to playing the Burns on a Festival for months now, and um, it was absolutely superb. And um, I just I think the UZ Arts and the council done a great job, and. Um, I've been loving it, absolutely loving it. It's just it's so nice to see uh, local people and tourists out really enjoying themselves. I mean, I think it's been a really a cool idea to have at Blyle Park as well, because even as someone that lives in here, I don't come here all that regularly. Um, so it's been great to spend time here. It's, it's gorgeous, and um, I really would love to see it here again next year. I'm from Ayrshire Cancer Support, and we are the charity sponsor for Buns and all that this year. We brought a pirate theme stall with us to do some fundraising, and we're having a fabulous time. The grass is covered by families, children seem to enjoy walking the plank <laughs> and being scooted with water while they did it. We don't tell them that beforehand, we wait until they're on the plank and then we produce the guns. <laughs> I think it's just it's great for people to have, especially on a bank holiday weekend when families are looking for something to do, but it's great to have a, an event like this in Ayrshire where it's family friendly, everybody can come, there's live music, there's something really for everybody and it's, it's really good, it's a great idea. company who's an arts we, we commission artists um, from across Europe and, and uh, South Asia to make work and um, 
the particularly the Buzzbeak, the uh, robotic bird, and, and uh, the sun installation were pieces of work that we commissioned um, using money from Europe. And they're both pieces of work are about getting the, the, the getting the public to be actively involved in making it. So in Buzzbeak, the the public. Um, can sing and play to the bird and the bird takes in the music and regurgitates and mashes it up and sends it back again. And similarly, uh, uh, with Thor's piece of work, the, the, the public are invited to tell stories from Burns, which are then going to the sound installation. You can play your musical instruments to us. speakers. Uh, it's an installation that kind of occupies different public spaces and moves around. Um, the, the, the title of the speakers is also referring to a, a flock of uh, speaking people or speaking voices as well. Um, and each of these suspended forms has a different voice coming out of it, uh, of a person reading either from, uh, from a tweet stream or uh, in this instance uh, from Burns text. Um, and I've been uh, extracting and, and tracking tweets sent from the revolution in Tahrir Square uh, in Egypt and then transposing those kind of contemporary tweets with uh, Burns's kind of revolutionary texts from 1780, 1790 uh, and again getting people to, uh, to find and read those uh, or speak them um, and, and it's kind of transposing those two together and seeing what happens. Uh, and they're not actors, they're, they're, they're kind of people who are, who are just speaking the text on how, how it feels for them. They lay aside a tender mercies and turl the howians to the burses and while they are only point and hurt they'll keep their stubborn highland spirit but smash them, crash them go to spales and rot the divers pay the jail It's been a fantastic weekend Absolutely. the venue has been wonderful even without the festival but the festival has added to it it's great, it should be done again if you like live music, then this is a place to be at this time of year. I mean, one of the greatest assets to to air is is the uh, legacy of Burns, and I think to have a, a a festival like this that celebrates his work and and references his importance is incredibly important because, but Burns is an iconic figure of, of Scottish culture and he, and is world renowned. And if this festival grows, as I think the, the council and we would hope to see it grow, it can become a really major attraction that not only it kind of reinforces the, the importance of Burns within this community in this part of Scotland, but it also becomes an attraction that makes people from other parts of Scotland and, and worldwide to come and visit this, this part of the, the country. For the sheer quality and the atmosphere, it's the best. Yeah. And it's Ayrshire. And it's Ayrshire! <laughs> Woo! Woo!